Hi there, it's Ewan from UserBrain here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a mobile app test with UserBrain. Uh, so up until recently, UserBrain offered uh, you to test websites uh, or to test uh, prototypes or really anything with the URL. Uh, but now we also offer mobile app testing, uh, which we're really excited to show you. Um, so the app that we're actually going to be testing in this example is Adobe Express Graphic Design, which is in the Play Store. Um, currently, we have Android app testing available, uh, but in the future, hopefully, even by the time you watch this video, we will have iOS ready to go. Um, so if you've used UserBrain before, um, your dashboard is going to look a lot like this. Um, if, if you haven't used UserBrain before, it's obviously going to be much more sparse. Um, so what you're going to do is, as always, click Create New Test, and then you'll see this screen here. What do you want to test? website, mobile app, prototype. Um, and today we are interested in creating a mobile app test. So we're going to click there to create our user test for a mobile app. Speaking of which, I have prepared one earlier for us. And the first thing you're going to do is give your test a name. So app test Adobe Express, perfect. Um, and then the test URL is going to be the test URL for the Google Play Store, where the testers can download the app from. Language, we have three available at the moment with more on the way. You can choose English, German or Spanish. Um, standard test length, as always, is between five and 20 minutes. But if you do need longer sessions, uh, contact support and we can sort that out for you. Um, although you will use more than one credit per test if the test is longer. Um, so, yeah, we have a good mixture of tasks, rating scales, single choice questions uh, and written responses. We could also include a multiple choice question if we wanted to, or we could, you know, send our testers to a competitor, maybe Canva, um, to see how the experience compares if we so wish. Uh, but we're not going to do that for the sake of this example. So we're going to click get testers here. And now on the order testers panel, you can choose which device you want. Do you want tablets or mobile phones? We're going to choose any device today. We're going to choose United States of America as our country. We'd like a younger audience as well. So we're going to choose 18 to 34 years as the age range. Um, gender, we're not going to specify today. And the screener question we've added is which of the following activities do you do most often? And the answer we're looking for is creating or editing visual content, um, since this is primarily a design tool that we're testing today. So now we're going to click continue. And you'll see this panel appears and that just gives you a little summary of everything you've you've chosen so far. So any device, United States of America, 18 to 34 years old. And with the screener question there, as you can see, we have 90 tests available on our account and we're going to choose. Yeah, let's say three testers today. Um, so as we've already paid for them, it's going to say total cost is zero or zero, zero euros or euros or dollars. Uh, depending on which currency your account is in. Now we'll click place order. And as you see, that's it. So now our testers will be ordered and we'll move on to the next stage, which will be analyzing the user test. 